Hi, welcome to today's video and let's check out Ginzebe de Baba's new indoor mile world record and see what there is that we can learn from this. As you can see, the, at, right, right from the start, the pace has uh, cranked up a whole lot right from the get-go and also as you can see, you've got, we've got a pace set up front and it's taken de Baba just a half a lap or so to be able to catch back up to the pace setter who's going to be sitting there and immediately what you can see is one lap down and the pace that's being set has split the field wide, wide open. You've got the pace setter plus four runners out front and everybody else is struggling down at the back and you'll probably see by the time you get to about 600 meters that the uh, there'll be yet another split and it'll be just effectively the pace setter plus the barber that'll be out front. Something else that you should bear in mind and have a look at here is the barber's strike rate as she's running along. You'll notice that the uh, pace setter that you got out, out front, she's running at about a uh, foot strike rate of about 95. Uh, the barber's sitting at about 100, 102 at the moment. And 100, 102 is the barber's normal strike rate. And if you compare that out to um, cycling cadence, uh, a foot strike uh, or um, a cadence of, should I say, 100, 102, she's on about 200 to 204 foot strikes per minute. There you go, you can, uh, you can see already that the, there's been yet another split in the field and it's just the barber and the pace setter that are up front. You've got the first 600 meters in a minute 34. So the barber's maintaining a constant pace here to be able to get under the current world record and you'll see how much she was able to crank it up but very interesting to notice still 100 102 uh, cadence uh, 200 to 204 foot strikes per minute and uh, what i was talking about is when bradley wiggins set the world hour record in cycling he was running at a cadence of um he was running at a cadence of um 105 so he was cycling at a cadence of 105 there the as you can see the uh, pace it is um, swung off after, after 800 meters and now for the final 800 meters it's all the barber and cranking up the pace. You can see that she's her pace is increasing but her pace is increasing due to the fact that she's kicking out her strides stronger at the back. She's not over striding out the front, she's not heel over striding all in order to be able to heel strike. What she's doing is she's kicking her legs more powerfully out the back and that means that she's still coming down with a four foot strike. You'll notice uh, both the Barber sisters with their world records are running with a four foot strike. Heel striking when it comes to world record pace is a thing of the past. And as you can see here, still running at 102 cadence. Her, as I mentioned, her increase in pace is literally as a result of the fact that she's um, driving stronger out the back of her stride but keeping the foot strike rate exactly the same what you're probably we're into the last 400 meters here at the moment uh which is literally now uh, just a couple of laps to go i think when she comes around here it'll be another two laps to go but what you can see here is that her foot strike rate is uh, maintaining equal pace and bearing in mind that the type, types of records that the Debaba sisters have, have been taking down of late were the ones that were set up by the Chinese fully juiced. So the question here is, um, are the Debaba sisters running clean? Up at the top here, up at this type of level, it's all about business. Nike pays the Debaba sisters for results. And the Debaba sisters, each of them on their own, there we go, end of the race. Um, four seconds taken off the world record. And as I was saying, the Debaba sisters, each of them, have generated more income than the Debaba family collectively has over their collective lifetimes going back. So, elite level running at this type of level, it's all about business. And pharmaceuticals gets you that much faster. Microdosing EPO can't be picked up by the biological passport system. It's as simple as that. So, 
that's it for this time. Stay tuned for yet another Coach video, video coming up with, over the course of the next couple of days.